So I am going to show you guys how I do my makeup. I liked how Kim used her contour sticks and the brush and the sponge to pretty much do her face. Really quick and really simple. If you also were not able to purchase the KKW contour kit, I looked in my collection and I pulled out a few items that were drugstore. As I start to talk about each step, make sure you look up on the corner where it says Kim. It will have the timestamp. Have her video open at the same time as mine and then you can watch and follow along. I used all drugstore products to save a little bit of cash as well as the tools used. So let's get started. The first product she starts off with is a moisturizer. Mine is actually gonna be my sunscreen. This sunscreen has a watery essence texture to it. So it mimics a moisturizer and it also works well under makeup. And apply a little bit more. After Kim applies her moisturizer, she goes into using her contour kit. I am going to do my eyebrows real quick, just something very light, as well as just spot conceal the dark marks that are still fading from my skin. And then I'll be back. In the next step, Kim takes the highlighting stick, which has a matte side as well as a shimmer side. And then she applies that underneath her eye area and just in the areas in which she wants to brighten on her skin. I'm taking the Maybelline Dream Lumi Concealer. This is in the shade Deep. This doesn't offer a very intense brightening effect on my skin, so that's why I thought this would be a great alternative to use for my skin tone. Next, Kim takes the lighter shade in the actual contour stick. She starts to sculpt out her nose and she will start to sculpt out the areas in her face that she wants to contour. For this step, I'm gonna be using the NYX Wonder Stick and this is in the shade Deep. I was going to use my ColourPop stick, which has a darker contrast to it, but since ColourPop no longer sells those sticks, I figured I'm not gonna use it. I want you to be able to use the sticks that are available at the drugstore and to get a similar effect. Kim also mentions how she uses the concept of the three. So she will start at her forehead, she goes down, and then she also will pull it down to her jawline. Don't be alarmed if you have too much cream on your face. It will blend out. Next is the blending. Now Kim is using her double-ended contour brush. So it has the stipple brush on one side and has a sponge on the other. I am going to use the stipple brush that is from Wet n Wild. She starts off blending out her forehead first and then follows along her cheekbone as well as her jawline. With the Kabuki style of her brush, she uses it to blend out the contour on her nose and pulls actually the cream product up onto her eyelids. I'm still gonna use the stipple brush from Wet n Wild. Are you jealous, Mario? I couldn't help it. I had to say that too. Next comes the sponge applicator of the contour brush. Now Kim sprays the sponge first. In her Instagram story, I noticed that she first uses the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Mist to actually wet her sponge. For this video, I'm going to be using the Pixie Glow Mist to wet this sponge applicator side. This is from Essence of Beauty. This actually has a powder on one side, but it does have the same sponge applicator that I'll be using to blend out the highlight.
I'm gonna first smooth out the product first with this sponge tip applicator and then just as Kim does, I like to further smooth it out with my fingers. Next, Kim uses the contour stick just to outline around her lip area to make them appear bigger. I'm going back in with the NYX contour stick to do that step. Next, Kim uses the highlight shade in the highlight stick. She puts it down the bridge of her nose. She mentioned depending on her mood, she'll put it on her brow bone, underneath her brow bone, her inner tear duct. So what I'm gonna use is actually the cream contour kit from NYX, and this has a shimmer highlight shade right there. I do something a little bit different for nose highlight. I just go a little bit right here, and then I just go right in the center. And when I do my highlight video, I'll tell you why I only do that. And then I'm just going to pop it right in my inner tear duct. If you want to apply it to the tops of your cheekbones, just to give a little bit of glow on the top, you're welcome to do that. I'm gonna take the darkest shade here in the NYX contour kit just to warm up my cheeks, just like how she does if she needs just a little bit of color on the cheeks. So instead of using bronzer, instead of using blush, just add some color right here to the cheeks. I'm going to use L'Oreal Hydra Perfects Translucent Loose Powder and just go ahead and take away some of that shine. And that's what I do when I couldn't order in time for the KKW Contour Kit. I just use the products that I have in my current collection, all from the drugstore at a fraction of the cost. I hope this has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.